this video, I'm going to be partnering with Dairy Gold Focus. I'm going to be partnering with Dairy Gold Milk. It's our local milk brand here in Washington. And they're like, Matt, do something for summertime. So I thought, might as well do like an ice cream or gelato, something to sort of cool off during the summer. And it's strawberry season, so might as well just do a strawberry gelato. So it's gonna be a very simple video. It's just like cream, milk, berries, eggs, like four ingredients. Let's just go ahead and jump right into this one. Okay, so first you wanna get your milk, cream, sugar, half of the sugar into a pot, and you wanna slowly bring it up to a simmer. Now once you've got that to a simmer, set that aside and you want to have your egg yolks already set into a bowl ready for you to start tempering. So you want to take a little bit of your cream, whisk it quickly into the egg yolks and then slowly pour it back into the pot while whisking continuously. Then you can put it right back onto low heat. You're doing this so you can introduce the egg yolks to the heat without curdling them so you don't get scrambled eggs in your custard. At this point, we'll toss in the vanilla and stir it. Continue to cook it until it thickens. Once it coats the spoon, that's when it's done. That's also called nappe. That's a way to say it. Coats the back of the spoon. So then you want to go ahead and strain it through a fine strainer just to make sure you get all the bits out in case you may have scrambled some eggs. Then you want to go ahead and set that into your fridge and chill it. Completely chill it. It should take about six hours. There's no need to age the cream. So now I'm going to use these really nice local Washington strawberries. I just sort of mashed them up whole with some sugar in a pot on low heat, slowly introducing it to a simmer with some vanilla bean. I like the nice whole rustic look in my ice cream. Nice to see some whole strawberries just to show off how pretty they are. So once the strawberry mixture is thick enough, you can set that aside to chill. You're gonna use that later on. Now we could get our chilled cream mixture into the KitchenAid bowl. I have a link down below in the description if you want this bowl. Now I'm just gonna let this go on low speed. I have it on speed one right now because with gelato, you don't wanna whip it that much because you don't want the aeration in there. You want a nice, dense, creamy ice cream for gelato. So I'm just gonna let this go for like 20 minutes, low speed. So pretty much in the middle of my churn, I like to add in my fruit mixture. You can do this at the end, but I prefer to do this in the middle of it so it can completely freeze through. So just continue to churn it for the remainder of the time. Go ahead and, I don't know, watch TV, read a book, whatever. Take it out once it's nice and thick, just like this. It should look really creamy. Then you want to set it into a chilled container. And you're going to put it in your freezer covered for about one to two hours, just until, I mean, it looks like ice cream that's ready to serve. That's how I make the strawberry gelato. Okay, the gelato came out really good, nice and creamy. You can do this with any other fruit you want. You can just follow that same recipe, just swap out the strawberry mixture. You could do this with anything else. 
Um, if you want to use the type of mixing bowl that I had, I'll put the link in the description below. It's just a simple KitchenAid bowl. Also, thank you to Dairy Gold for sponsoring the video. Couldn't have done it without them. And also, like, comment if you want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Give me some more. <laughs> Don't hold out on me. Mm-hmm.